My son is cadet in the local fire brigade and I'm very proud of him because he wants to become a firefighter and because of all firefighters are big and strong people I would like to allow him to do a little bit of sports so I'm gonna make him some little weights so he can work his biceps. The idea is to make two times a little shaft with two weights on it. A bit like this, but better of course. And the total weight of one assembly should be around two kilograms. I just finished cut out two little shafts here, axles or whatever you want to call it. And my idea is to make eight slices like this one so you can choose if I put one or two on it but this is 70 millimeter steel to cut it in this little band so it takes forever and one day about so I cut only one and I'm already tired of it so I need something better. After I finished cut out two slices I stopped doing it. It was just too much work and not worth the effort for the result. So I took a piece of angle iron that is 10 millimeter thickness and I cut out two squares. As you can see there's a hole more or less in the center and also in these two round ones. I installed a little shaft here in the lathe and I'm gonna turn it down and then I can sandwich all these parts together on the shaft and cut out the radius. like this little insert had its time. But first I will continue rough it out and then we'll, I will switch, put another one in. Look at the finish. And this doesn't work yet. Oh, I have to be strong to do that. Before I finish the circle here, first I will cut off the corners, it will be much easier. Okay, let's do some interrupted cutting. What a nice finish. Instead of changing the cutting tool, I gave it a touch on the bench grinder. Now normally carbide you cannot give it a touch on a bench grinder, but these are these cheapy inserts and the coating on it I think it's more paint than something else. So when you go slowly, slowly, you can re-grind a little bit. And indeed, look at that finish. That's perfect. Let's continue.
I started to make one little handle here, drilled and tapped, just to try out a little bit the fit of it and this seems to work. So let's make another one. So far, so good, I think. I have here my two handles, four weights, four knobs and a bozo knob. When I install these little weights here and I screw them up with these little knobs here, the fun is there's no movement so there will not be any gling gling when he's working with it but it's a little bit light and making again these I think it's a little bit useless I need to make some weights that are heavier and for that I have maybe an idea I have here a square fragment of a plant if I make a pocket in here a little bit bigger than this weight and I pour some lead in it I will have heavier weights let's make a pocket in this one and see how that goes okay all set up to make a terrible mess over here nah, maybe there's no need
I need here, I have my bread that I want to melt, I have my camping stove for outdoor use only, but let's uh, ignore that for a moment. Safety glasses, uh, professional melting pot thing. Here's my form, I have some fire bricks here. Let's do this! This inox pot is getting red hot, I see. I think it's too much heat. Yes, starts to melt. Man, that's heavy. And here's the result. I have four LEDs. This one looks perfect, or almost. This one had a little bit boiling, but I hope it will be okay. When I poured the first time in my wooden form here, the lead was too hot and it started to make gases. And that's why you see the bubbling in the footage. So I did it again and these look better. Now to avoid this problem I poured my lead in this aluminium things, uh, boxes, uh, I don't know how you want to call it. And this works great. Now this one as you can see the bottom was not really clean but I think it's thick enough to clean it up. Let's open this one to see what we've got here. Come on lead, come out. Yes, there's a little bit of pitting but it's not very deep. Right, let's put them in the lake. Leaves a beautiful finish. What's nice about these chips is that they don't cut. That's good. And this is it. I mounted two steels and two leads on this one. And you can hardly tell the difference between the steel and the lead. But it has some weight to it. <laughs> Let's call my son and see what he thinks of it. Steel, so, uh, uh. Mm. I think it was a nice project to do, lots of different operations and he seemed to be happy with the result <laughs> and now he thinks he can beat me with the, um, actually yes, yes he can. And I'm recycling the chips because the second time I need to melt lead, I have 